So we're going to call the select board meeting to order. The, today's date is the uh, is March 18th, and uh, we're being filmed by FCAT on a held, handheld camera today, so it may be a little shakier than usual. The cameras really work amazing, though. And uh, the first item is going to be uh, the minutes from last week. Did you read the minutes of last week? I did. I thought they were, uh, I don't have anything to add or subtract to, but they were pretty good. So I'll move that we accept the minutes from last week? Yes. You have the second? Second. Okay, so we all yes. vote yes. 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 Okay. Good. Unanimous. Uh, and the next item are uh, the warrants for this week. So we had three warrants. We had a vendor warrant for 454000 278. That's a frontier bill that came in uh, over three hundred thousand dollars. Higher than usual. Yeah. A payroll warrant for one hundred and ten thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven, and a payroll deduction warrant for twenty-seven thousand eight hundred and eleven. Then I'll second it. All right. All in favor? All yes. Right. Good. Ended by. The select board members. Yeah, Friday night, lovely contract negotiations with the union. Um, uh, today, superintendent's roundtable breakfast, and then six hours of interviews for the new finance director of the school. Is uh, yeah, some good candidates. There were some good candidates. Yes, good. Some, some that I would be very, very, very satisfied with. I think everything's well, that's good. So, yes. Long day. My week wasn't big. I had a conser conservation commission meeting and we're still uh, going over next amp and deciding how strict <coughs> to be, how hard to hold next amp's feet to the fire mm. over how close they can cut trees to the wetlands whether we do have the ability to force them to stay 100 feet from all of the wetlands, and they are making a strong pitch that letting them cut a little closer than that would not hurt the wetlands. So we're talking with uh, other experts. And we'll be meeting with them in a little over a week. Uh, okay, public comments. No public comments. We have public here, but we'll get, we'll get those comments coming up. They have special comments. Yes, yeah. no public comments. So our old business from last week that we've been doing, hopefully this will be the final final day, is uh, the, the two <coughs> host community agreements from Tornado Mountain and from Roaring Glen. So last week as we left off, I think you were going to put together a combined agreement that and I forwarded agreements to Tom and I forwarded oh, it to oh, town council and he replied with a couple of concerns and I didn't see them oh. I just tried to incorporate exactly what we talked about onto the agreements that we had so can you summarize what these are uh, I think you should probably read it okay uh, How long? Uh, I'll perhaps read it I'm out reading loud, it out loud. Sure. Good. Uh, so this is from our town council. Tom, I've had a chance to quickly review the revised host agreements for Tornado Mountain and Roaring Glen Farms. First, I'm glad that Roaring Glen revised their agreement using the Tornado Mountain agreement as a model. I think it's important to have uniformity in those agreements. Second, I think the language as to the amount of the impact fee is troublesome and not appropriate. I have never seen an agreement where the amount of the impact fee is left open and subject to this new process involving a somewhat informal arbitration process. I see this as causing problems and delays <coughs> down the road. The parties should be able now to negotiate a reasonable fee, be that three or one and a half percent or whatever. This adds uncertainty to both parties. The uh, company can anticipate its costs and the town can predict its anticipated revenues to an extent. As it's written now, I see constant debates over the amount of the fee 
and the corresponding time and expense to set up and proceed through this unusual arbitration process, although it is a good thing they didn't choose the American Arbitration Association, which would be very costly. It is everyone's best interest to grapple with the appropriate number now rather than having this issue arise potentially every year in the future. I do not recommend the arbitration process outlined in the proposed agreement. Third, I recommend the deletion of the last line in paragraph 10. Miscellaneous contract law in Massachusetts provides that interpreting the terms of the contract, any ambiguity will be construed more harshly against the maker or drafter of the contract than it would be against the non-drafting party, in this case the town. There is no reason that the town should waive this accepted rule of construction and that language should be deleted. Can you repeat that reference? Sure. The paragraph? Yeah. It's it. It's the section 10. Paragraph 10, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Last sentence? Last sentence. There is no reason that the town should waive this accepted rule of construction. Oh, he capitalized no, N O, both letters of no. He did. I've never seen him do that before. Okay. And so that language should be deleted. <coughs> Uh, I don't have my copy of it. I don't know what exactly that is. It's great. Um, but anyway, we'll get there. Given the short time period I've had to review these agreements, those are the two major issues that stood out to me. Please let me know if there are further revisions. So, so I assume I can look at either of them. They're going to be the same now. Um, they're not at the, for the CIP payment. We um, we extracted that formula of percentages and just stuck with um, three percent of town costs. What is? Can you help me, John? Yeah, mm -hmm. total town costs not to exceed three percent. Yeah. So. So we have a number mm -hmm. gross wholesale receipts which you had requested. Um, We struck that um, in, dis in our own discussions um, because we thought it would be very difficult to calculate uh -huh. and would be very hard for the town to calculate and um, we'd rather just stay with a, a, a specific formula. So that would make our town ha attorney happy. I think so. I have no idea what you just said. So what I talked you okay, so this just go with a number. Just go with it. Let's just agree on a number, and that's no, that's not what she said. Oh, okay, so that's I'm not what she said. That's no. going with a maximum. No, the the, the that, I can clarify if you want. Sure. Um, there was a, a sentence about um, sharing costs between multiple establishments and calculating that based on the the, the gross uh, sales. Um, That's what Tom had recommended in the last meeting. Yeah, I mean, and that, that to me is just fairness because the costs are set and it doesn't really matter if, um, if, well, just, if, if, the, if the town's costs are like to do with an education thing, then that's what the costs are. And if there's more than two people, <coughs> there's more than one person to pay it, it doesn't make, I don't think the law provides for double billing kind of a thing. No. no. So, that, I mean, that's kind of what we have to do and yeah, it's what we, we should we do anyway. It's just fair. Double bill. So, let me read what those. There's two sentences that are important <laughs> there, right? One says the maximum amount due as a uh, the the CI the community impact payment shall be three percent of the gross wholesale receipts received by the company. Gross wholesale receipts means the aggregate purchase price for marijuana manufactured by the applicant, paid by any licensed marijuana establishment, but before sales, excise and other taxes and amounts collected for the CI payments. Costs incurred by the town related to the operation of more than one marijuana establishment shall be shared by the marijuana establishments in question. So that's what he struck, that last sentence. And the Your reason council. the reason that, that was that, struck. That's what town council wanted to strike? That's no, what no. you read. That's what you read. Yeah. Well, you read that you uh, no. To no. no, that has nothing no. to do with what town council said. That's nothing to do with that. Right. He wanted to strike. They're talking about 1B in the Roaring Right. Glen. That's right. Right. That last sentence you read is not in the current version. It 
It's in this version that I just read. What do you mean? I think that's Tornado Mountains that you're looking at. Uh, oh, it is. <laughs> Now the reason the two copies of Tornado Mountain. I, I kind of want to clarify. It's in, it's, it's in the, the Tornado, Tornado Mountain. I see. Here we go. The very last sentence of the agreement in the Tornado Mountain agreement. We'll get this right eventually. <laughs> I put the Tornado Mountain aside, picked up the next one, and thought it was yours. <laughs> it's, it's in their host agreement as well. It's the last sentence. So, so this one, one B, the last sentence says. No, it's ten, ten. What? We look, the, oh, our lawyer's concern was paragraph 10. Right. Miscellaneous. Miscellane right. We're, we're, are not we, talking about that. we're not talking about that. We're, we're oh, okay. okay. So we're, st we're still looking at the community impact payment. Yeah, let's, let's put aside 10 in the last sentence. So we can reach a resolution of that. You want to get to that one first? No, or I'm sure. We'll later. Resolution of that. Okay. So, so 1B says the maximum amount due as a CI payment shall be 3% of the gross receipts received by the company. That's the maximum amount. Mm -hmm. uh, gross then wholesale receipts means price. the aggregate purchase price for marijuana cultivated by the applicant paid by any licensed marijuana establishment but before sales and excise and taxes and things. Mm -hmm. And so that's so that and could you read town council's two he has it was problematic for two reasons it was about the arbitration and 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 no, deciding I think there was something else. Yeah. he would rather see just a, a some fixed percent definite figure no he, the, the part would it'd be very difficult to calculate um and it would result in many arbitrations that in town councils I believe that refers to something we took out of ours and is in Tornado Mountains. Is that currently? No. 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 Okay. It was a. So you have in front of you what the town council reviewed? No. Okay. He he looked at the latest proposals. <clears throat> so w what he what he said was. Mm -hmm. um, I think the language as to the amount of the impact fee is troublesome and not appropriate. I have never seen an agreement where the amount of the impact fee is left open. That was a prior language. Because it's because uh, it's problematic because he hasn't seen it left open before. Uh, yeah. That's why it's problematic. So so is that prior language that's not in here? Yes. Or? They're both left open because in both cases it says up to three percent, right? It does. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's yeah. why it's that's why it's left open. I, I think he was talking about something else. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I, he's, I what he's saying is that... No, he's, he's, he's saying both things. He's mm -hmm. saying that he doesn't like it being left open and that he has not seen it before. And so that's what we did, What we did is we discussed this in the last <coughs> meeting. And unfortunately, John's not here tonight. Um, John was clear that he thought it was appropriate to follow the statute. And the statute says that it's the actual costs up to a maximum of 3%. And I don't think it's very hard for the town to figure out what its costs are. And, and if, but, if but it's, then I, so it's, it's easy, we go against it's our lawyer to do that. Well, he says that he hasn't seen a town do it, okay, whether or not you think you can figure out your costs. It's easier to figure out your costs after the fact than it is before the before the fact, right? Well, and he's just, it's he, not easier to spend the money when you don't have it. Right, well, but uh, there's but no impacts until there's impacts. Once there's an impact, that's a past tense, and that's what we're talking about. There are not future impacts because those are not anticipated, and none of us look into the future. It's a flaw and in the we, law. Well, it doesn't matter what it is; mm -hmm. you can't get money ahead. But there's been impacts already. No, there's not. Not so, specific. So, no, stop, so, please, so, please. The law states here, the fee charged must be in exchange for a benefit that is sufficiently specific and special to the marijuana establishment. It's not a group of establishments. It's not the law in general. It's if I have a problem on my road and I create an issue that we pay for, town cost. It's not how people feel about it. That's, that education comes from the schools. That's part of the law. It's not specific to our establishment. If you look at some of the 
what they recommend for CIP payments, traffic studies, wastewater, environmental studies. These are impacts that would be specific to each individual. That is why there are no group costs that can be shared because they are specific and there are no group costs. It is only specific to each individual establishment and that's the law. So, so as an example of costs for the town that have already been accrued, I would put the cost of the town employees that are already dealing with all this stuff. The well, we pay. We pay taxes we gave money for, that. for that. And we pay taxes for that. I mean, if, did, oh that, to the extent that you have specific costs related to attorney that's related to this issue, we don't pay for your time as a selection. And we've paid for your attorney. You know, but my time is free. It's well ten dollars a week. But um, but the, but whatever we don't, we, but, know, but have we have a check for twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, we gonna, gave you money for coffee. That's, that's going to pay that. Yeah. So yeah. so so mm -hmm. all the time that the attorneys are spending on this is going to be taken care of by the original check. Right. What we that's talked true. about the last time we were here was at least Tornado Mountain said we'll give you five thousand dollars towards the cost that you may incur, you can I spend those, okay? Um, once we get our license, um, Tom said, you know, it's budgeting is a concern because you can't budget before the fact until after the fact. Well, this is money and if you incur the cost and you have that money, you can budget that money. Um, I just don't think it's that complicated for to figure out what the costs are um, at the end of the year. And they and have then, to do, I'm sorry, Tom. You just figure out what the costs are and tell us what the costs are. And they have to, by law, by the statute, they have to be documented and posted as public record. So they have to be documented every year. And section three, as you can see here, we can't give you any money in advance because section three says within 90 days of the close of each calendar year the company shall pay the CI amount due to the town for the preceding year. Those are impacts that we've incurred in the year and we hope this is a long in, long running business so if there are impacts every year we pay for them every year. But it's not because the town voted it in and people are having a problem with it we're going to pay for people's education about it that's not specific to our establishment that's specific to the law so it states very clearly here that it has to be impacts for each individual establishment and i can give you an example if we had let's say we had another let's say for the sake of argument that phil has a big chemical spill over his place he does something crazy he's he's lackluster whatever he has a big chemical spill I'm going to split the cost with that. If he doesn't make any money. He has a big chemical spill. I'm super successful. And so I have to pay 100% of his negligence? No, that, it isn't written that way, John. How I wrote it is not that way. How I wrote it is you find out, figure out what the costs are for each establishment to the extent there is a cost, and I can't define what A group cost. Is. Suppose there was a cost which was equally attributable to both of you that it would be split. I'm not sure there is such a cost, but you start off by saying what are the costs to each individual medical establishment. If you mm -hmm. have a, a, some, if the police come to your place 12 times, then that's your cost. Mm -hmm. And you pay for that if the police don't come in zero times. That's not split. They come once, then he pays for the one time. You pay for the 12 times. That's how it starts off, each individual establishment. Well, that's, uh, what John, the law, that's what the law says. But, that's Specific. The, but John said that if there are certain costs which are equally attributable, and the town feels they're equally attributable, then they would be split. That, that, that was the language that we talked about. But that's not, it's not a split as It's it a split based, uh, based, on the re based, on the, based on the amount of revenue. But that's not really the, the issue that... It is our issue. Council. It's a huge issue for us, Tom, in that if we're really well, successful... We're, we're, we're talking about town council issue, which is more important, way more important... To you. To both... To you. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. I, but you know, I, I, mean, I don't think a, we're talking about the same thing. It's a very table. small, minor <laughs> issue. Can, can... So, the, the, just, you so know... So, you I, guys I, haven't even seen what we're talking about. 
we we know what we're talking about. It's a it's a sentence in the CIP payment that was taken out of ours, and I believe in what you have was is not there, and what town council reviewed is in there. So, what was that sentence? No, he, the town town council reviewed the current copy. So then he's fine with that. So he didn't no, even mention it. No, he did. He said the percent. So this. Let me just read it, and you you guys tell me. Um, uh, please, this is not this is not the sticking point of, of the negotiations, right? It's now. not. It's really no. not. Okay. And so the sticking okay. point is the three percent is a fixed number. No, the, the town council didn't even say that. All town council said is he likes some number. It could be one percent. He didn't just pick a number. And it's not his job to pick a number. That's correct. He, he said he would prefer to have a set number rather than the town stating what the actual costs are each year. So rather than have it say max. Right. And he'd, rather, he'd rather have a, a fixed number which might or might not be preferable to the town. I mean, when we were here last time um, and we talked about it and I thought we had an agreement to everyone, well, certainly John was very clear that he thought the fairest thing to do was to figure out the cost and bill the cost at the end of the year. Right. It might be better for the town, it might be worse for the town. He didn't know. And to do a very simple arbitration that wouldn't cost any money to anyone, where you pick somebody, we pick somebody, and they pick somebody right. who's knowledgeable about government. Right, when they, we all felt good about that. Yeah. And now our town council is saying, nah, I don't like that. He I didn't feel so good about that. He says it's a, he says that in his opinion it could potentially get more complicated although it is the law and it is fair and, it, and we've know? already come on on record with the with Kenny is saying he didn't think there'd be any impact and I haven't heard anybody other than education that you want to educate people I haven't heard any infrastructure type of impacts I haven't heard one plan for any impact that you think we might have however if there are impacts then people would be charged for them right. Yeah. So, and that's, it seems like that's what we agreed to last time, and is we went back with, you know, paying in advance for some programs that we're <laughs> of the belief that it's not our responsibility to educate people, and the education part of it is not for these specific establishments. Well, uh, we can, unfortunately, I suspect we can put that off for another day. You know, wh wh whether... Yeah. W w w whether right, that's we, at the end. Right. Sure. That's right. Absolutely. That would be uh, what you, we went to arbitration for. That right. would be if that ends if up you, being what we, w w one of the things we disagree on. If you have some people that want to set up some education programs right. because of these specific establishments. Right. And they can prove that it's because of these establishments. Right. Great. Right. Super. We will right. pay that. Okay. Well, uh, uh, that's what they're doing. Absolutely. Um, so, so um, that's what they're doing, but it's still in the formulative stage where they can't really quite put a number on what they intend to do yet. And so well, how can we put a number on it then? Well, we don't even know what we're going to sell. You don't know what your costs are, and you're asking us to put a number down. How could that possibly work? In, um, in our benefit, it will never work. In your benefit, it will work 95% of the time. It's not going to work for anybody. It's not going to... It's not going to be what the, what, what the law is about, and it's not going to be fair, and it may work adversely to you if your costs turn out to be higher, because you're, we're just speculating about the costs. It makes infinitely more sense to wait till the year and just assess us the costs, whatever they are. Well, the, I, I don't see why the, 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 the like that. Well, I mean, I, I was uncomfortable with it, that, but but I didn't like. I, I wasn't like strongly objecting to anything. And John liked the arbitration idea, um, and and it, it, it is a path, um, and it, it's uh, an, an original path. And I like original things, um, <laughs> but but the 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 w w but when I when I reflected on this afterwards, the feeling that I was left with that it's. This the the idea that we that you get that one segment of one industrial one industry segment one business segment within our community gets sort of a say so at the table of what the fee is going to be um, just struck me as just unfair to every other business category. But the what other, other fees are there? In the 
Yeah. Um, gross. And we're the only ones who are, we're the only ones who are paying them. I mean, yeah. God, what are the other fees? Like Barb doesn't have to pay for alcohol education course in Conway Grammar School, does she? No. No. Um, and it's a controlled substance. She just pays her license fee. And there's been more people killed by alcohol than all of al all of marijuana. So I mean, let's go down that path. Um, but that's the law. So, right. You know, I mean, the law does. The, say yeah, like the, and, and what I meant by that is like you know, there's nobody. The the health department assesses a fee for an inspection, and the, the person doesn't get to come in and say, "You only spent five minutes inspecting, and I want to I want to look great." And. But to the extent that the health department inspects, they're going to be paying their fee. Whatever right. What if, if they say it's thirty dollars no, no, for a fee, we pay it. Over costs other than that. Specific yeah. to this industry. We're not going to haggle right. with people's fees. So we're not going. To, we're not going to contest if if, <laughs> if 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 Kenny does a patrol. When he says I'm doing a patrol and I'm going by once a week or once a month or whatever it is or daily uh, at night to check it out, and that's his fee. Well, no one's going to contest that. That's going to be we won't be able to anyway. We got cameras on anything. We can see him coming down the road. We'll see every time he goes by. Yeah. So, so these two are now different. Is it possible that these two could be made the same, and that we could agree on that? The tornado mountain, and uh, I think probably we could yeah. we could make them the same tonight. We could get we could get rid of the line in in number ten and sign it. The line in number ten. So that you mean that's the miscellaneous. Thing. That's the missing. Oh, so we'll, we're not there yet. Uh, yeah, I'm not. So, we're not, not going to be wedded to that line if we so, can get this done tonight. Absolutely. I mean, these two look very similar, except except the, the thing about sharing between the establishments, which is, is, is it, not in ours. Right, which is not in yours, right? <laughs> right. And, and that obviously right. burdens small establishments more than large because you're presuming you split up equally. Um, so I believe that's what does. council had. I guess it doesn't seem um, good. It doesn't seem good. I think it's, it's unnecessary. I think the line will be in You're going to grapple with it. It's, this, it's a problematic calculation. That's what he said. I, that's the line that he, I believe, is discussing. But his attorney uh, officer disagrees. Um, he's discussing it three years. So this line yeah. should say something like that we should share them as a percentage of... No, it should be just out. There should be no line there because you're so getting all your costs paid for anyway. So there's not going to be any shared cost because the law does not allow yeah, for shared costs. You could get rid of the last sentence. Absolutely. Of, well, let me finish, John. You could get rid of the last sentence of B because it's, you're going to say whatever the costs are for reasonably related to the costs Due to the due to the establishment itself, so you could put them all under that, right? And you get to the same place. Okay. And if you think they're shared, then you'll then you'll allocate them in a shared way. So you can get you get rid of that line, and then up until then, I think they're the same. Mm -hmm. And you get rid and you get rid of the the one in the last line of ten, and and it could be done. So uh, should we go look at ten? Well, the last line of 10, I know what it says already. So I know. It's yeah. about a presumption because we theoretically wrote the contract. Um, it was something that I never certainly thought of. And the town council wants to get rid of it. So it's, it's, it's legally, get rid of 10 altogether. No, no get rid of the last sentence, sentence oh. of 10. It's legalese. No. It's never going to come up in a million years. No. Nope. OK. And, and there's, I noted that he asked to take out the arbitration clause. Is that what he also no, asked? No, no, no. The, 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 we're, we're up there. Yeah, uh, so but it is, on. it is out. No. Well, no. no. We're let's let's we'll get there. Okay. So, so the last the last sentence of the ten could come out. Okay. And if you took out the last sentence of B and left everything else in, then as far as Tornado Mountain is concerned, we're ready to sign that. Mm -hmm. There is no last sentence on ours. No. Right. No, you already took it you out. You already right. took it out. Exactly. What? We could cross it out and it could be done. We could cross those two sentences out. So in B so right now, there is nothing about arbitration. There, it's no? an E. It's an E. So that's an E. Yeah. Right. And John said, just do a simple arbitration. Uh -huh. It's not going to cost anyone any money. So that's what I did. OK. And we're good with that. We're good with that. I mean, I know Phil's not. He won the last say. 
<laughs> no, I don't. Care about, I don't. I never get last day in my house, man. <laughs> hey, you're, you're in never, your house ever. right now. No, it's it's dangerous to get last day in my house. Then you got all the responsibility. <laughs> So, hey, so how I'm uncomfortable is the lawyer about the, uh, using, you know, discussing arbitration at all? You have his email. I do, but uh, that's all I know. Could he give us an example of what no, would I mean? can't know? I but, mean, but what I what I don't know, you know. Could you read it out loud, maybe one more time? What what, what is what his letter says? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he says, I've never seen an agreement where the amount of the impact fee is left open. So, Which we've solved, we've solved, right? Well, I think so, except having the arbitration clause in there does sort of leave it open. Uh, I mean, it means we're going to... Well, it is open now. ...bicker about it at the end. Right, it's it is. open now. Right. Yes. And, and, and subject he, to and this new process involving a, a somewhat informal arbitration process. And see... Right, we had this discussion the last time, we which did. Phil said... I want to be able to decide. I'm the neutral in the room. I am. And I, You're right. I did say that. You did. And I, <laughs> I am the neutral in the and room. I suggested that actually I was the neutral in the room, and you were probably weren't going to be happy <laughs> if I decided it. And so um, the odds are nobody's going to bitch about it, and everybody's going to agree upon it. But if something, if you if you said some if if somebody on either you said something because you'd have to say something and we said that's totally outrageous you know we'd say just send it to a neutral and they'll decide whether it's outrageous and if it's outrageous we think it's outrageous and they say it's not outrageous it's within keeping with the town government fine we're on it we're, we, you know and that their decision will be final right and if we to, all to, agree to me so. like it said okay so uh, I, first of all I should I should apologize because. Last Monday, I was uncomfortable with it, but my my discomfort was sort of incohate, and I couldn't really put words around it. And it, it's stuff like this when you don't see it coming. When this was like a, a an idea that just popped up right there, and I never thought of an arbiter, whatever, doing that differently, and um, I, I I couldn't come up with on that spot, you know, the, the reasons for my discomfort. Um, but you know. Aside from like the just the basic sort of thing like uh, fairness, it just the the what the the attorney's thing about troublesome really that's the word that stuck home with me that the the uncertainty of it the just the fact that for for a relatively you're talking like small amounts really I mean in t total total lump sums vis a vis the total t town budget um, and you're talking about potentially tying up town personnel like significant chunks of time just putting stuff together putting packages together getting co coordinating things and to me it just the way before before this idea came up what was on the table was one and a half percent flat and um uh and t i was trying to push that number higher and the result was let we'll do up to three percent but um you know we'll be, we'll be looking over your shoulder kind of a thing and so, um, I, I, I think like all of those things together, the, the, the flat number is better. T to me, uh, it's the first year that, that the town's going to be having the, the, just the, 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 the expenses that I could see, and the, the, the subsequent years would be less um, as far as I see the numbers. And it, you know, so. Uh, Maybe you do one and a half decreasing over the following years. If the number is going to be less, and to, uh, to, to, I, to me that, go ahead. Uh, I think we're going to stop it. A year from now, we're going to be talking about really small numbers. You, you know, I mean, I think we're spending more right. time right now talking about the impact than we're going to be worried about a year from now. And so I do like the fact that we've protected it by saying up to three percent, which is what the law has. Right. But I suspect. If we're going to be talking about one one trip by Kenny out to you know, you, you know, you, you, you handle a bunch of teenagers that are out there goofing around, it's not going to be enough money for you to then take us to arbitration over. You know, no, of and, course not. Uh, uh, so, and but then let's flip the other side of that coin if we could really quickly. 
And let's flip the other side of that coin and say that we became really successful. We made $10 million and we were at a 3% or 1.5% and you still had zero cost. <coughs> what would happen then? Whose advantage would it be then? What we're talking about is who holds whose money is what we're talking about. And we don't want you to hold our money because we need it because we're a farm and we're a, we're a startup. And if we have costs that we've incurred, we'll pay them. We've always paid our bills. And that's what we'll do. And I like the fact the law is written with a percentage or, you know, written to protect the town. Because if I was a town of Northampton, I would want to be able to charge some of the costs that Northampton is probably facing retail's a different dealing animal. with their sure. retail retail's outfit. A, retail's a different animal. I understand, but, but so, yeah. you know. And they, are, and they are collected. And they are. And, and they're, they're also, and the establishment's paid for, they pay for the police duty out of their own pocket. It's not out of the CIP payment. They've yeah. made a whole bunch of stuff outside of that yeah. because they didn't see the cost right away. And the town is incurring them right away. To your point, they're right. incurring costs right now, so they're paying them right up front. So that is, that's one point where it would work out to pay them, you know, as they're being incurred. But we are a long way from that. Oh you my know, gosh, yeah. There's a little, little farming operation, you know, I, I, I don't know, so. I, 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 you know, I feel like if we're gonna say a maximum, we're protecting ourselves, but it's not, it's not gonna be a problem. Yeah. Right, you know. but we just don't know, we don't know what the costs are. So the we fair, don't. We right. The fair thing to do is say what, whatever the costs are, they'll be paid, you know? And it's no one looking over your shoulder, it's you following the law. You have to document your costs and you have to make them public record. No one's looking over your shoulder, you have to document them until you drive down our road and then someone will be looking over your shoulder there, by the security. There's program. elements of that that are problematic in an arbitration setting. And that is that, you know, the, the town follows the budget guidelines for, that are set forth by the Department of Revenue and the it doesn't allow or permit for things within the budgetary process to be sectioned off like, oh, this is particular, this expense is particular to this taxpayer. Um, and, and so ultimately it's like an, uh, you're talking about like a, an application of art to some extent to come up with a number. And you might find that hard to believe, but. Um, a code for a call, a code for a call for police. And for town, it's a new line item. And, and for the highway department, it's another miscellaneous expense. It's just another line in the budget for someone to put down, this is this road's expense. This is this road's expense for the highway department. For the town, they have a code for each, for each police cruiser, for each fire call, they have a code. And it's just a matter of adding a code. That's all it is. That doesn't get translated to the budgetary process. That's not, you know, you, you're, you, you're you, like how, how, how far down the chain of town employees d uh, need to get drafted into knowledge of the businesses and uh, and participation in the expensing of the cost to the town it it just it's like and it's troublesome and we're talking about infrastructure we're not talking about janitors we're talking about infrastructure and it's troublesome and I'm not um, I'm not comfortable with an arbitration process going against our lawyers thing uh, you might be John might be um, but I'm not. Uh, just would like certainty and finality. We'll, and you know, we meet every year. If 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 we're stealing money from you, I want to give it back. If you got money that should go to the town, you should give it back. Um, and that's that's. Yeah, I I agree with that. But but since you have to sign an agreement which is binding for five years, you have to figure it out now and, and the most recent, the only fair way to do what you're describing is to do actual costs. There's no other way that you can do that. You can't say, yeah, it's going to be 1% and then it turns out to be 2% and then you call people back in and say, God, it, we kind of missed the number and it, it really is 2%, will you pay us more? or it turns out to be a half percent or a quarter percent and the establishment comes in and says you guys are charging us you should really in all fairness give us money back you can't change it then so if you pick a number it's totally arbitrary much easier to figure out for you guys what the costs are and just charge us at the but that's end. my point like as far as the town goes there's an element to this that is um, just as much art as it is budget and you know and the town always be the way that that you would that you would want to set it up if 
if the highway boss doesn't properly document what he did on a given day um, and doesn't cost it out later, then the town loses it. Right, but I think at this point we're pretty much all on record showing that in terms of anticipated costs, in terms of anticipated impacts, there, there are pretty much none, right? So the 3% really covers the town in the event that something unexpected would happen. Otherwise, time. otherwise, then I'm not sure. I mean, what 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 would you see as a as a reasonable? I mean, it sounds like zero would be the reasonable number. <laughs> no. Well, the, the issue is that <laughs> legally speaking, <laughs> legally speaking, this fee is not supposed to be structured as a revenue, that's a right. new source of revenue for the town. It's not legally speaking. I know you'd like it to be, but that's not what the yeah. law is. Yeah, I get that. I'm, I know. Okay. You know. So this is a big fire, actually. Suppose there's a big fire, and there are costs of the fire, and then the costs of the fire are attributable to the medical establishment, potentially, you know? The marijuana establishment. Marijuana establishment, yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, so then we probably get our insurance to pay for it, because <laughs> we're paying a lot for that, too. I like to think of this as 100% of the town costs up to 3% of our gross wholesale receipts. That, that's in my mind, and, and that's what I think we are all And saying. that's what I believe it says it's, in 1B. Right, and that's what John agreed to with you in the meeting. John said 100% is exactly what the law says, and that's mm -hmm. what we're, we're asking for is 100%. And we can play the tape back, and they no, definitely no, no, agreed no, to no, it. No. Even the minutes do, but, but you're right. Um, you know, but, but, I, I mean, I'd be happy to have a vote on it, except if you're going to vote no and I vote yes, mm. then we, we don't. It doesn't pass. So, so I, I, I so I'm reluctant to. So the, you know, have that vote. For, for me, when when I uh, tried to sit down with our, I sat down with um, our school principal just to because I, I said, look, the law says if we're going to do, if you're going to do a special cannabis curriculum, you know, be, uh, to, and and alert the children where the two. The things are or whatever which is what one parent already came to them and said and uh, the same I don't, there was a parent that said that, you know my kid hiking in the back and you well, know Lisa, what am I our response was talk to your kids so 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 if you know and, and when I said the, you know you, you're thinking about doing this curriculum um, the law says it's if, if it's a call you know we need to put a number on it and the difficulty in just something like that of actually putting a number in uh, it, are you it's, talking it, number as dollar number? Correct. Okay. Of, of, of like one specific town cost. And basically it would be a letter from a principal saying this is what the number is. And I will but, teach but, a marijuana but, curriculum but in the it, grammar school but, every but, year it, but, it, but it's like that's 25K. And, and it would be a fair amount of art involved to, 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 to come up with that number. And so... But, so, uh, but, 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 uh, not. but ultimately... I mean, using that as an example, my kids always say the D.A.R.E. program. That was a failure, was it not? Well, let me, let me just finish, okay? <laughs> it's still going. You know, um, it, it wasn't a great success. All the, all the statistics show it was a failure, actually. But, yeah, sure. but, but there was a D.A.R.E. program, you know, and my girls went through it, and I was kind of told them that I thought it was really a crack of shit, you know, <laughs> to be honest, because you know, it was, you know, as much as I like Kenny, you know, it just really, really didn't do much. So, so they we're not the, doing the DARE program and, anymore, as far as I know. And there, no, and no, but I, and there may be a, a program out there that has something to do with marijuana, but it really has to do with people buying marijuana. It's really focused on sort of people using marijuana in retail. It's really not focused on a cultivation establishment at the end of a road that nobody sees. I mean, I, I got a t-shirt at home that says, Dare to Keep Cops Off Donuts. Um, ah. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, um, you know, I don't, I don't think that program's really going to be part of those costs, and I don't think you guys are going to say it's part of those costs. You know, it's really, we're getting down to, really what we're talking about is more substantive costs, which are, which are police, fire, you know, if there's a huge amount of trucks tearing up the road, somebody, and, and instead of the road being taken care of, 
twice a year, three times a year, it's taken care of six times a year. Certainly, certainly the highway department is capable of saying that. We put three men on it three times a year. And all of those are things we know that aren't going to happen anyway. But those are the but types they, of examples. I understand. But if they right. do, those are the only, they do, you know, then we'll say right. fine, you know? Yeah. So yeah. And if anything is like that, that's, that's the type of cost. And if we were in inner city and we put up a 10,000 square foot metal building with wire fence around it, that would be a different story. But this is not that animal. It's a completely different animal. And unfortunately, the laws are written to try to take it all in. And so that's what we're trying to parse out here is that this is not the same animal. So the lawyers are like, make it simple, make it clear, make it, you know, don't leave any discretion anywhere. That's what lawyers are. You know, but but we have two alternatives. Well, one we is, already proposed 1.5%. One is to say a number, that like right, agreed say 1.5% or we could agree on a number. And the other is to say up to, and then we might as well say 3% or we could say one and a half or some other percent and then we have to leave the arbitration in. Of, in other words, what exactly. we do when we exactly. don't agree. Exactly. You know, when, and like you say, yeah. you, you know, you can't vote if it's against it tonight. If John was here, you'd right. probably vote. It'd be two to one. I don't know. And he know John might say, I'm going to stick with the lawyer. I, you know, I, know. So I, 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 don't, I don't, don't have an answer to that. Right. You know? Right. I don't have an answer to that, you know, and if we take Phil's formula, then we should go one and a half percent, but that's the first year is high, so we probably should go one and a half, one and a quarter, one, three quarters, one and a half. And I tell you, we're not going to sign it. We're not going to go in that direction because we believe it's illegal. We can't pay you for costs that are I don't know if it's illegal because everybody else is doing it that way. Just and, because and a million people I agree on right, something I, doesn't mean it's right. I know, no, no, I'm not just, My mom used to say that exact phrase. It's a Confucius setting. A million people. <laughs> everything. That's probably why what well, your issue is with this. It's <laughs> 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 probably really a mother issue. <laughs> All right, so, I'm back. It doesn't, it doesn't, take a vote on this. It doesn't have to do with this, you know? So, I mean, the, the part of it is that if we agree on a number, what's going to happen is you're going to get our money and then we're going to have to chase you for it because the costs are not going to be there. We're here every Monday. But you see what a burden no, that is no for us? Do that that is a burden. And for you. And it's a you huge might, burden for you. us it be because it's not fair. It's not what the costs are. We'll pay all of the costs up to 3%, and that's what the law says, that are specific to our establishment, not Phil's, not anybody else that moves in here and tries to do the same thing. That's not, we pay for what we impact the town, and I believe that's the letter of the law. So 100% of your costs, so if it costs you $10,000, and we pay, we made 300,000, 300, so we, the calculation is 3% of 300,000 is 9,000. 9, so we'd owe you a thousand more, you know. <laughs> and you would look at your books probably, you no. and you would say, okay, this is a real cost, this is not, we, we lost $1,000. However, if that 3% is 300000 and your costs are $10, you get $10. So, so but, but this all comes down to how we negotiate on what our costs are. In other words, whether we leave the arbitration phrase in there that says when we disagree on what our costs are, how we come to an agreement. Right. And it has to be somehow, and, you know? Right. Yes. And it has to, it, it has to, has to be a formula, a mechanism, and we suggested the easiest possible mechanism. Mm -hmm. We can't decide, you can't decide <coughs> arbitrarily. There has to be some mechanism if there's a disagreement and the easiest mechanism was, you know, just pick somebody, we pick somebody, they pick a third person who knows something about, they don't pick a lawyer, they just pick somebody who knows something about municipal affairs. We and then their, and their decision is final, yeah. binding, and non and non-reviewable. Right. Okay. Right. right. And we all like this last week. We're not. We're, yeah. We're not disagreeing with it, that this was what we all wanted to do last week. Mm -hmm. uh, and we could get it done tonight. We could sign off. Yes. So, which is that would be a nice thing for everybody who's been coming for weeks and saying. weeks. Okay. So th then we're not going to be able to. I like I like the descending scale. I, I I'm fine with what he just set forth. One and a half, one and a quarter, one, whatever. That's. Hmm. And to, um, 
th this is just the you make it they make it sound so nice and easy but it, it doesn't it, um, it's from 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 the just the strip. The, just the I town. How just are the you town, going to just the town's point? The town's point. I know point our lawyer doesn't like it. But how are you going to document your cost? If it's problematic, how are you? Because you're going to have to come up I, I with a way I, to I, do I'm it. Not, I'm <laughs> totally fine with signing it. With what? what I know you're saying? not, but you have to make your case about that. You know. Right. I just don't think it's getting any better. Yeah. No. No. It's not. And if they want to hold us out for this kind of extortion, fuck it. Sign it. Mm -hmm. Sign it. You got it, Philip. You got your way. Sign it. it ain't you know, what is it? 1%? We got a half percent? 1%? What do you got? What's your number? Shoot it out. We'll sign it. We got to get moving here. We're farmers. It's the spring. We're getting screwed now. From going back and forth to your town council that we're paying for, we're getting screwed. Okay? So pick your number. You're the one that wanted a number. So you're Pick proposing one. one and a half, one and a quarter, going down by a quarter? Pick it. Yeah. That. And you said you would like that? You would sign that? Well, give me, give me a minute to talk to them. No, <laughs> we're good. She no, we're good. She, she didn't even say it would like it. Uh, no, no, I hate it. I think it's illegal, and it's fine, but you it's know, too, this is what they're going with. It's too much of a gamble to wait any longer. Hey, you know, it's what everybody's doing. It's what all the cool kids are doing. It's not cool kids, but... Nobody confused me for this. No, no, no. no. Um, unfortunately, I can't. We could. We can make it. She's got it all on her computer right now. She can make the changes and so, put it out. We only have PDFs. I know I sent all my stuff on the computer to you. And oh, I can okay. forward them on my, my phone. My stuff's in order. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't send PDFs anymore. Yeah, we, I mean, we well, can't, you, we you can't can, afford you these You can weeks. vote it anyway. I would, I would and encourage it you to, matter just, when you know, to just reconsider for a sec. Just for a second, you really feel that way, that this is more in the interest of the town. They're being as supportive as they can possibly be. Yeah, I did. I, I, I thought about this, and um, I, I, I'm not I, trying. I think, I'm I not think, coming I, from I, a position I think the, of the overall, antagonism. The, the honest, I, I, you know, I, to me, the overall numbers, the, the overall. Strictly financial consequences, benefits, whatever to the town, um, are are small, um, and that. Well, it, net, I mean, the businesses themselves are the net positive for the town. Correct. And if we correct. have more cost than sales, how does that affect us when we still have to pay you? Um, I I would gather that the um, that the seventeen percent to the state is going to be way more onerous. No, than the we're not talking about one better than another. We're talking about money out of our pockets when we don't have it. That's what we're talking about in in a fixed number. In a farming operation, when your costs are very close to what your sales are, like dairy farmers, they always work at a negative. Most farmers work very very. You know, you went out of business as a farmer, didn't you? Correct. Right. Okay. So you know, you're familiar with it. I am. Right. So I don't. I can't understand why you're arguing this point, Phil, but costs are very close, okay? It's gonna take two or three years for us to even see some kind of profit. And you got your hand out. If I, even if I lose money, you'll still have your hand out, won't you? Um, no, if you lose money. Well, it's gross sales. It's gross sales, gross sales Phil. Gross sales. Yes, if, if we no, lose money, you'll have your hand out. If you go out of business, then there's no business no, to no, no, no. money from. We're going to keep going, but as long as we can. Okay, but if we lose money, we're going to try to struggle. But you're just going to dig us further in a hole to struggle out of. That's what you're talking about. So, I mean, that's one interpretation. Another interpretation... No, that's an example, not an interpretation. So, okay, one example. Another example would be, or uh, another way of looking at it would be, you know, I think you, you stated that your initial cultivation thing would be 200 plants. A town, a town getting 1.5%, um, that's, that's 203 plants instead of 200. And... Um, that's a and, financial person doing an agriculturist job. That's a financial, that's an accountant doing a farmer's job right there, Phil. And, jeez. One and a half percent ain't gonna put you out of business. Well, you don't just take three plants aside and say these are for the town. That's not how it works. That'd be awesome. At the end of the year, you have a balance sheet. And the Could balance sheet says, do that. The balance I just don't think there are things that, yeah, I mean, you haven't given me things that, that you, 
I don't I don't understand what the benefit of this this money is for the town. It's it, it has to be related to impact. And and if, if it's you want to create slush funds where you where you funnel excess money over to like your your favorite projects that you can somehow justify. And if no, you no, want to that, create conflict, a, and if you yeah, want to create no, oh, problems, yes. this is yeah, definitely going to create. Was, if it was a justified. This is this is what our council yeah. recommends. Is just come up with a number, and um, I'm down with that. Okay. And and I like and I and I. So, and, so, and, so and, 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 and if you're going to propose no, that, I, I would either. rather we set it at I don't 1% think that's what their council said. flat over over the five piece. year. Here's the letter. No, he said three and a half or one he's, he's or a, one no, three he's, or he's one He said just choose a number. He's, he's not recommending a number. a number. I know, right, but rather than Okay, having, how about point one two five? That's a number. That's a really good number for me. Uh, I'm loving it. He said pick a number. I picked one. Now you pick one. And that's what's called negotiation. Um, I, I, I thought one point start at 1.5, 1.25, 1.0, 0.75, and 0 0.5. Okay, that's 0 okay 0.5 is too, great for me. 0 0.5, we're down. Write it up at 0 0.5, we're good to go. That was what he was saying. That's oh, your you five. What that's he said, right? I do. <laughs> I don't know that this is really, I mean, I will sign that. I don't know that that is really what is in the town's I mean, that it, may it, have to come out later. Business is, it doesn't sound like we're ready to, to understand. And Problems can arise later down the line just as well as early. I, but so, I mean, when, when we. I, my primary concern is that I would like us all to be, as a community, in some kind of alignment here. Right. Because that is kind of. We're all, everyone in this room has done farming, pretty much, right? So yeah. I think we should all think of it a little bit along those lines. Um, and, um, you know, when, when, when before, two, two weeks ago, the proposal was 1.5 flat for, for whatever, for five years. And um, I think this is a huge move towards your bottom line. And, and uh, I don't per se disagree with that. And um, my regret is that I didn't. I wasn't more. I couldn't get my thoughts together last Monday, and could have could have kept this this evening from happening. Um, but so, so so let's nail that down and have a vote. All right. Okay. I, I mean, I've heard you said you will sign it, and I've heard you say you well, will sign it. Still, yeah. I'm just. <laughs> And not well, we, happily. But. We, yeah, we want a, a good dynamic between the multiple I do too. businesses that exist in town. Well, ours isn't going to be, I can guarantee you that. Because I don't like it. So. We're talking about paying you 1.5% of our gross total sale receipts for the next five years? No. no. Okay, what are we talking about? Descending. 1.5 1. 1. for year one, 1. 1.25 for year two. Well, they're based on they're based on chronological years. Oh my gosh, that should be just an accounting wonder. I mean, your account must be wonderful with that. I mean, the problem before was it's nothing. A, it, is, it is based on calendar years. Well, so it's yeah. one point, it would be one point should be ascending at least. 1.5 <laughs> for the first calendar year. Which no, I assume that your your money is going to go, your operation. gross receipts right. are going to go up. That's so, the hope, so, so, you know, so you would so want this to one and a quarter, and it may be it may be parts of six calendar years. <laughs> there has so to be the six calendar year, the that, that proportionate part of that calendar year might go down to a quarter. Because it it's not years of operation for for purposes of the town, it's calendar years. Well, here it's going down to a half. <clears throat> right, but there might be a sixth calendar year where it's going down to a quarter. If you start off, if you get, if you start operation in the middle of the year, you, the way most agreements are written, it's a calendar year at the end of your calendar year. But, but, but all of these are at the end of the calendar year, within 90 days of the end of the calendar year. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. So, the, so maybe six calendar years is all. Do I'm you saying. want what the line six are we calendar changing? calendar year might go down to quarter. So what? What specifically are we changing to this to read the maximum the amount payment. due as a CI payment shall be one point five percent? You want to? Well, you want I to would, take the maximum amount. We'd have to take, take the word maximum out. So the amount due would be 
year uh, one? Uh, would, would be, and I'm not sure how you say this legally, but in year one, the end of year one, it would be one and a half percent, and then going down by 0.25 percent. In, in, all, in all succeeding years. In all succeeding years, yeah. 1.5 percent. Point, point. So starting at 1.5 percent, it's the first calendar year, 2019 or 2020. 20. Well, it depends whenever you, whenever. You, that, that's when the first payments. Whenever it's approved by the CCC. Well, if we get plants in the ground this year, yeah. which but is whenever we have sales, unlikely. that's when you get your money. Yes. Going down. So you'll get your. 0.25 percent every year for five years. Yes. So every year. Every, every year. year. Well. But then you'll every, be zero. Every succeeding year. In five years. Every succeeding year, maybe six years. Right. Calendar years. Over yeah. the term of the agreement. Over the term every, of the agreement. Every succeeding year over the term of the agreement. Every succeeding year over the term of the agreement. If they change that language, that's fine. Like Lisa, that. how do you feel about that? I think that's fine if we're taking out the word maximum and, yeah. and substituting 1.5% going down 0.25% every succeeding year. And you know, maybe Lisa, I think she has all our documents. She could add that. Yeah, um, and then does that mean E goes out altogether? E was, e was where it talked about arbitration if the negotiations fail. Yes, E goes out altogether. Right. So the only thing that happens basically is if you if you don't have any cost and we paid a shitload of money, we have to sue you to get our money back. That's basically how this thing's going to play out. Accounting issues. Got it. I guess. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, I got it. Well, we. That's right. That's that's the that's the end. That's, that's always the answer, though. We're, that's the end game. We can't spend it on anything other than rela related costs, and those those expenses may well I last a good deal for, far for beyond too, the terms John. of this I'm not agreement. I'm acting out purely out of my own self interest here. <laughs> You're no, treating me like I am. I already know what my deal is. I, think it's I already made the best deal that I thought was. Right, but if I if I disagree with what I think is the best deal, it's not. Well, let's that's not, for you. Let's not, not make not for me. It's not yeah, for so, yeah. me. So, Lisa, do you do you have this? I, or if I you intend to actually sign something tonight, we should take a break for ten or fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. That would be okay. Sure, that makes sense. Sure. I mean, we could go on with our agenda. We have a couple other things on the agenda. Or well, we could go to the inn and wait for <laughs> and Do you, do you, do you have do you No, have I will do it. I will do it. Okay. I will make the okay. changes. Tom has the lights. I, I will make the changes. Okay. So, so, Tom, just to make sure where I think we are, we're going to remove the word maximum from B. 1B. Yeah. We're going to change 3% to... Some reasonable language about starting at one and a half percent and going down by a, it, by it a shall, quarter of a percent. It shall be one and a half percent of the gross wholesale receipts received by the company during the first calendar year. And point five, point two five percent less every year. during each calendar year that this agreement is in effect. Right. And being and reduced by point two five percent. So we're going to take out the last, in the tornado one, we're going to take out the last sentence starting with the word cost. Correct. And then did you get the last line of the... We're going to take out E. And the last line of paragraph 10. And yeah, the last line of, <coughs> of section 10. <coughs> so. yeah. it's, it's, it's stress in John's defense. He's not here, but it's stressful thinking about the 1.5% in the first year. That's uh -huh. that's where the stress is. Because when you're trying to start up a business, you have to get you have to roll over and have m enough money to start the well, second year. Yeah. So second year. And that's I'd be where open you spread it out, spread it, do you want to spread that out over the first 2 years or something? Combine the first 2 years into a what, so one, one point five and one point two five. Uh, Maybe because the math is really we don't have much. Even it's a long shot that we would grow this year, anyways. You could you could you do could zero in twenty nineteen because we're probably not going to even grow, and then one point five in twenty twenty in the same deal for the next five years. Well, if you don't grow, you won't have any in the receipts. So that's not. 
it, well, no, it, it's years. more like if we did if we did grow, we could put it all. It into would be a half a year. Succeeding. It would be a challenge. It would be challenging to get. I would be. I would be okay with that. With what? Zero for you 2019. Zero for 2019. Okay. 1.5 for 2020, and descending a quarter percent from now. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're, so one and a half was only 19, and 1.25 was 20. You're banking that we're probably not going to grow anyway. This. Oh, it's calendar year. 1.5 for. Oh, okay. So, but that's why they were. We're not. Six this years. is not a secret. This is that's fine. Why they were we're trying, trying yes, to figure yes, out what's yes, best, yes, best yes, for our business. Yes, for our business. Yes, this is this is everybody's on this. To give it a Okay. One and a half percent in the beginning, decreasing by a quarter percent. Because so the first year is 2019. Then on that five-year plan, the first year is 2019. Well, it depends. First year is whenever you get approved. Yeah, it's up to the CCC. Okay. Well, you're not going to pay. You're not. You're not. So nobody's going to be doing payable until you receive a license. Until you be, it says until you obtain a license and begin operation. That's what I was but, saying. Let's make the first calendar year 2020. We don't know when it's really going to be, so why don't we just say once they obtain a license from the license authority and begin operations, like it is. That's the way it's written mm -hmm. now. Well, if they in A, and it shall be one and a half percent during the first calendar year, worth the reduction of 0.25 percent in each succeeding calendar year thereafter during the during the during this agreement. If they get the license on December 31st, that doesn't help. Doesn't help who. We're talking about what's going to help our operation. business. We're, we're talking right now. The discussion is what's going to help get our businesses off the ground in right. the first mm -hmm. year, and we're just out of concern that the 1.5 in the first year is um, could be could be challenging. I, I'd be okay with specifying that 2019 is a zero year. Um, well, 2019 is going to be a zero year. It's a, 20. Well, it's a zero year. It right. may or it may yeah, not. Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah. No, they're not going to get anything planted and grown by... The CCC is saying that they're going to. The CCC, I, I just read the thing, that, that they said that they're going to have, that they're going to do three, four month turnarounds okay. for this from now on. I, I, I believe it when I see it, but because um, right now they're still doing four year turnarounds. But That's March, but September, if you're growing outdoors, you're not getting anything in that crap in the ground. And this is outdoor growth, both of these establishments. They're the not first year, calendar year 2020. <laughs> Why don't we just keep it the first year? Right. I'm okay with that. You know, yeah. and, and leave it like it is. No one has to change it. Because the first year that they're licensed is going to be 2019. Well, and so? Hopefully. This year, yeah. So but they won't have a crop. And what well, if we they do? will by the end of the year. And he's I a hope. manufacturer, so he, I mean, so there's. No, they, they, what they're saying now is they probably That's won't true. by we the end of the year. Well, then they we'll don't see. know if it's anything, but. but. So. That's the 1.5 year, so let's make that 2020. They've already established certain aspects of the business. So the Can five you year fix it to a fixed calendar be, year in, this, in such an agreement where we're trying to make it equal for each business? I mean, hmm. any business could start at the end of the year in order to try to get a better deal, but... Well, I mean, I don't trust. I don't trust there's going to be a turnaround in four months. It just not hasn't so happened so far. Twenty twenty sounds reasonable as the first calendar year that this agreement goes into effect, starting at one point five percent. So that means if they were to get licensed, so this if we get licensed in twenty nineteen, we don't zero. pay anything. Who knows? You would pay zero. I think we should just say calendar year during the first calendar year and let it be whenever it if you give If you get the CCC a host agreement that says it doesn't 2019. start until 2020, I, have a, I, I don't believe that they'll license they'll you until 2020. Right, so why don't, we, why don't we just have give them something that just says during the first calendar year, it'll be 1.5%. Because the first calendar year could be 2019. It's, such, it's going to be such a small difference to the town. Why don't we just do that and get it? Because then we lose the 1.5%. No, you you're losing 0.25 percent is what you're losing. It's 0.25 percent, not 1.5. Do you guys care? We're potentially about losing 0.25 percent. We're losing a year. 0.25 percent. Do, do you guys care? Uh, uh, I, I think we can live with this. Okay. Uh, I don't think Tom. Uh, can. I think. No. And maybe you're proposing. He doesn't live anyway, in the town. So. He can't live with it. No, no okay. Tom's, Tom's all right. He, he's just concerned no, about what's going on. I mean, it's just like we we don't want to lose the first year, which is one point. I'm hoping that they get a crop in the ground and they get started. 
That would be good. It would be it good would for be, them if they didn't have to pay us the 1.5. It would be good, would be good for the, the town. Year. We're hiring I, people if we in get town. to continue our business <laughs> and if we have the extra five thousand dollars that creating keeps jobs. us in the black I, I don't for believe, the next year. I don't understand why you're trying to squeeze every goddamn penny out of this town. <laughs> no, that would be three <laughs> percent. No, that's where you started. And if I hadn't walked into their selectman meeting, just, okay, just, okay. Just, okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm good the way it is. But I, I don't think that they're going to intentionally delay for a year to, to, to skip the one and a half percent That's year. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. Well, I, I still believe they have every incentive to try to get this going as fast as possible. They do. So. Right. It would be better for their business if they could roll over that money till 2020. It would be yes, it better would. for the town if you delayed it, right? Yes. Right. So what we're trying to do is work together here. You have to give a little, we give a little. We just gave a shitload because we didn't want any part of a fixed number here. So let's have a little give from your side. Okay. That's what I just did. We're, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. You guys decide. Okay. So do you understand what I'm saying? I, I do. I do, and I I, do. but I'm not worried about it. But I, you don't think they're going to make more next in 2020 than they do in 2019? I do. I do think so. Let's have it more. start in 2020 and make it zero in 2019. So the first yes. year is going to be zero. You can't fix it. No. Right. So is it oh, zero fine. first year? No. The fine. five Are years start in 2020. That's great. What's the yeah, percent at the end of 2019? 2019, 2019 is not part of the agreement. We're trying to get license in 2019, so we're not going to give a percentage at all. Uh, yeah. Then I don't understand. 2019. What you're so. So that's the two things. 2019 is zero. 2020 is 2.5 and 1.5. 1. I'm sorry. Yes, you are correct. Easy, Phil. <laughs> uh, and and well, like, how do we? Uh, and, and then can and we then legally say, attach it to a year? Are we really just making this more complicated? Uh, uh, everything's more. Well, complicated. That's a, it's a five year. The breath I takes more. All it says is five years. It doesn't say which five years, does it? But you're proposing to say which five years, though. We, we as part it. of our agreement, yeah. Well, you're not looking at this. You, you don't care. You don't care. You're fine with it oh, every okay. calendar year. Fine. Right. Are you fine with it's every fine. calendar year? Okay, let's just get it done. Okay. I know. I know you don't love it, Tom. But <laughs> these are these are your these are the guys who are deciding, and they're fine with it. <laughs> yeah. That's, I think there's guys who are supposed to negotiate. Well, I know why you love it. <laughs> 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 I, well, it's okay. I would love it if I got lawyers. home to dinner. We're not, Actually, that's we're not coming from like right out of state. We're, we're <laughs> like, yeah, we yeah. own our properties right. in Conway. Thank this you. is I'm ridiculous. We're yeah. unemployed right now. <laughs> we're all paying taxes here in this town. We don't have any stocks. <laughs> Four salaries. <laughs> Oh, so you can go into the. We're agreement. paying both the lawyers. Hopefully, our own lawyers Take a can fight for us. Fifteen minutes. It's a good thing, right? Uh, okay. So, break. so uh, what do you do? Uh, it's not adjourn. It's uh, recess. Recess. Thank you. Well, I don't want to recess the meeting. We can go on, and we have no, one more thing. Right. We're, yeah. We can talk you're about suspending uh, discussion of this. We topic. can suspend this issue. Right. Only because you're going to just make the changes, and then we're going to come back and sign it. Yes. Right. Right. Okay. Good. <laughs> If we were a proper right. select board, we would recess to the to the end. I will, I will, so can we continue without you, Tom? I don't know. Is that? I look at the agenda. All right. Well, the agenda is my issue now. For what it's worth, uh, I'll work with you on the language if you want. I think yeah. I have it. Okay. Um, but yeah. Show it to me once you once yeah. you get it off. Show it to me. Yeah. yeah. So are you changing it all for your agreements? Well, because was, they have a yeah, cultivator so agreement and a manufacturer so agreement yeah, and we have a craft right. cooperation yeah. Yeah. So there, there has to actually be three different yeah. agreements with those, all these changes in it. Yeah. I hope I can do it in 15 <laughs> Yeah, it's a full order. I wouldn't be able to. I mean, I, I'd be happy to help and you could keep it. Cut the case. But I would rather we don't put it off till next week. I would rather <laughs> we're all here if we could get it signed and done. I think so everybody, recess, everybody deserve, everybody everybody deserve Okay, that. so we'll recess the meeting okay. and we'll come back in 15 minutes. If there's anything I can do to help. Is that good, Dan? It will be 7.30. Okay. <laughs> so we'll call the meeting back into session. And we've completed editing the document. Yep. And now we'll look at it. It's 7.35. Uh, the one change that I made from language that was said during the meeting was uh, uh, the language uh, for every succeeding year. Um, I thought it was clearer and more to what had been agreed to to say for each 
succeeding year. You already read this? I did. Wow, you're fast. <laughs> I was here while you guys were out there doing whatever you were doing. We can have any big town meeting issues? After this? What are the big issues going to be at town meeting in May? The highway facility. Coming back. Back. <clears throat> back for more. And, uh, and what, are, what are people going to ask this time? Yeah. It'll we'll be find, significantly we'll different, though. So, what will, what will They're certainly looking at all the options. We have an actual committee. New blood that approached it all differently and nice. focusing on a do it yourself kind of a thing. There we go. And uh, it'll be possible to do it how in many sawmills in town? We got we a town, to. we got a town forest, we got how many loggers in town, we got how many builders and timber framers in town. You and kidding? One less when Jerry set, setting it up to take oh, the okay. most advantage of the town's resources. Absolutely. As possible. Absolutely. Not possible to do it all the way. But, um, so I think. It's a different, it's different. It's going to be different. That's great. Anyway. Can I see it when you're done? Sure. And then uh, there's a, a significant capital request from the highway department, a significant increase in the frontier budget because of the reassessment and the increase in chapter 70 base. Uh, nothing to do with frontier budget itself, but there's a 12% frontier budget increase because the town's revenues went up. Um, so before you even get to the frontier budget, it's a 10% increase to the town. Was that from solar fields? There's money so, uh That's the one, but the, the increase in the town's revenue was mostly the Trans Canada, the, the dam went online, the power generating in town went online, the Comcast poles, and then the reassessment. And so our increase, town increased its net wealth, net value by 4.9%. The other three towns in our district were under 1%. Here, so they redo the whole mind. chapter 70 foundation budget and we start out before you even look at the budget by owing the other three towns on the ground. It's just brutal. Well, theoretically, taxes should go down though, right? If our revenues have gone up that much? Um, taxes uh, uh, right now are slated to go up 3.34% from last year. Or the operating budget, rather, is set. Tax rate is set to go down. That's what I mean. Currently, yeah. Yeah, the tax rate would go down, so people. Well, that'd be the first time in five my, years. My, it's gone up 25% in five years, the tax rate. Well, that, that's because the budget as a whole is much less and the valuation <laughs> is more. That's so huge. I mean, yeah, yeah. Right. We so were here for the individual, eighteen now. It may go up. Five years. A town 25% increase. Because their tax rate is going down. Wow. It's just a couple of departments, too. The vast majority well, of town government is The operating budget is going up, year actually. Year. It's, it's amazing. It's going up 3.34%. 60% of school. Right. So I mean, here you are asking for cannabis education money? Again? The money that people are going to, the tax bill will go up <laughs> yeah, 3.34%. Come on. We're already getting 60% of my dollar. <laughs> my or, or I know. Some of it's going like to go to. I know. I'm a volunteer, man. I get 10 bucks a week doing this. <laughs> you know that? I get no state, no, I, get, I don't get any, I don't get, um, you know, any uh, percentage. Those well, nothing. Are, those are factors in. Nobody put a gun to your head so. and made you come here. So, so yeah, when, you, know, when you're done with that, we're, we're actually only raising an appropriating <laughs> no for the operating budget. budget. There's no raising an appropriating I was, I was on any, uh, any of the money articles. So, Phil, so, when you're so. done, we'd love to see so, them. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank 
Phil Cantor have a copy? No. No, I'm. Well, those those are the I, same. I, I, I paged through it. I'm. These are the changes that. Yeah, it's good. I'm good. I'm ready. So there's that one. I'm ready. And. Not to rock the boat. So the first year is 2020 or 20? The, the first year is the first year you were in operation. Right. The okay. first year you were approved by the CCC and you begin <coughs> business. That is your first year. Okay. okay. Great. So are we all good? Not defined. So. Could be 2022. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so I'm going to move that we accept these host agreements and sign on the town's behalf. And that, that you and I sign, John can sign, it does call for the chair's signature too, John can sign. He doesn't have to. No, he doesn't. Whatever, okay, and, and that's for your signature, so, but. I second the motion. All in favor? Yes. Aye, so, we're done. And do you want me to prepare the document, the certification document for your CCC? Sign that. No, we have it right here. Folder? We have it all set. We, can't fold it we already have a copy of it. Okay. It's a form. I don't have a folder. Well, I think I know you left it. That's not good. Excuse me. But they were going to do it some days <laughs> after this was signed. But that's not what we... But this is just saying we just signed it. Yeah, that's that, all, all that's saying is just that we just signed it. And so if they just sign that now, right after they just signed it, then they don't even have to look into their short-term memory. Like we can move on. So, and then you'll get one copy of each, and you get one copy. So, so you're signing two copies of each. And Tom, I imagine John will want to be the contracting authority. Um, okay, so do you guys have your copy of this guy too? Yeah, right I here. Just yeah. Have, okay. okay. They just signed it. I mean, Phil or I could sign it, but you're the chair. You're the chair today. Anybody I'm the chair today. Yeah, you get the certificate in HCA. Yeah, you're an you're an authorized representative of the host um, community. You need two, right? No, just one. Just one. Then I will sign. Then we need. Oh, we need two. Look, wait a second. Two copies. And then you have to sign one, the same one for yeah, tornado yeah. round two of them. So this is executed. Still this one. Is executed. Eighteen. Good. Somebody dated it there. Phil did it. Oh, okay. Okay, good. All right, that Phil. So you get your name? Oh, I didn't sign, did I? These are Roaring Blend. I signed Oh, no, that's Lisa. Lisa oh, oh, did oh, I'm it. sorry. That's yeah. Lisa. Lisa did it. Lisa did it. Lisa did it. You can Somebody, thank her. Yeah, you guys should be uh, good. You dated it. Okay. So, Phil, do you want to fill this out first for us? copy for you. That's uh, their copy. Sorry? Split. Well, it's the same name. Sorry. It's the same. Both. We are done. Here. Okay. No confusion. Um, Bob, would you like a copy for your records? That would be great. Yes. Let me. Let me put the machine here somewhere. Uh, oh, he has. He's got two of them. Right behind Tom's chair. Okay. So here's. Two tornado mountains and these are cultivation. This one for you. Um, so we don't need well, can you write a, a uh, date on that? Sure. For what, no? Three eighteen. Yeah, because this isn't actually going to the CCCM. That's our copy. Probably date your copies too. Yeah, why don't you make copies of everything for me if you want to? Sure. Hey, uh, can you or us so stick a date on? Tom, here's two, and I dated them. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's, that's your copy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So here. So, so this, 
Uh, There's that. which one? Just by yeah, Bill's yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Um, he didn't. Nobody stated it. Bob, can you just date this one too? Yeah. Thank you. So that's Ruin you Glen. Want, you want for us Utah. to date by Bill's name as well? No, no, that's fine. Just some date somewhere in the document. Okay. <laughs> helpful. So you have a uh, manufacturer, and this is the cultivation. And we have a cultivation and a. It feels like I'm buying a house. Sure. <laughs> I know. I'm signed the document a thousand times. <laughs> Can you imagine if there was this much security and oversight on our food? Oh, oh, somebody growing corn to sell it. Yeah, just, just on our food. Can you imagine that we wouldn't have 60% of the obesity rate that we have now? I bet it would be down at least 40. <clears throat> So Phil, was there a second one of these? One for each? They're all in front of yep. you. They're all sitting right here. Ours? ours no, no, the, no, no, it's right uh, here. Yep. Thanks. It's yeah. in color. Yeah. It's green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. There's the original there. So here's two tornado post agreement certification. Uh, oh, uh, you don't you need one for each of your? They're the same. Do you thing. need one for each of your? The, yeah, I just did four of them. For oh, okay. You guys, yeah. the, there's those are two. There's two more somewhere. Those are both ours. Oh no no there's, no, there's just two. Yeah, two for them. So you only need one, or do you need two? We need Let's two. You need two. two. You think we need two? Right. Which, I mean, I, would you write, need to write manufacturing on it somewhere? Okay. So are we out of your way now? I mean, is it now in, back in your court? Um, it's back in our court. I wish it you luck. Uh, really, you. really, I do. <laughs> I wish you good weather. Who knows these No days. tornadoes. Yeah. No oh. hurricanes. Start buying outdoor weed. And we'll, <laughs> we'll get rid of that climate change part of it anyway. Indoor weed is what's killing. <laughs> Among other people things, have their people have their preferences though. You know, it's difficult to change people's preferences. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the why this morning. On the other side of the locker room for me, there but was a group. But it's swinging more. It's um, in that direction, though. I'm sure yeah, they were 75-year-old guys. Just in time for All talking about growing. where they buy their weed from. <laughs> and how much they love right. and now and then Thank sit you. back with a pipe and enjoy a pipe full. Isn't that great? And, and some of them what really like the new about? weed where yeah. a couple tokes on the pipe and it's all they need. Oh. <laughs> and some of them prefer the oh, old fashioned kind. I don't know where you, <laughs> whatever. And, 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 and you must have been just killing yourself. It was really okay. amazing to hear the conversation. Oh, well, and how quickly, have to get, you know, yeah, it's, it's right. evolved everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. evolved. Yeah. It's not like, you know, you know. And I know among the guys that were talking, they're from every political so persuasion you yeah, could imagine. Right? That's great. You, you know, that's great. great. Well, we, we've had that same uh, driving past the dispensary in we just need one. You know, the line. It's yeah. just like every everybody there. Combination oh, of along, along with the guy being a sign ho a, a, a spot imagine. holder, you know, selling his spot in line <laughs> yeah. for 20 that? bucks. Oh, yeah. Every oh day. <laughs> well, either way, Tom, oh I hadn't heard that one. Wow. Entrepreneurs. Wow. Anyway, it's fun. Are we good? All set. We're all set. Good. All right. Well, so we will be putting more of your time. Keeping you busy. Okay. Good. So next on our agenda. We have some more for. Yeah. Hi guys. We have to eat brownies and cookies. Okay. Bye. 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 You guys doing this? We'll be quick, is that it? Yeah. Okay, so next on our agenda, we have town meeting budget items, and Tom, that's back to you. Yeah, so um, 
The only thing about the budget review I did include um, in the uh, Excel form, which you may or may not have. You, you sent it to me in my computer, but... Yeah, okay. Um, I have updated the, um, <coughs> the uh, open space item, uh, and I think that was... Oh, uh, yeah, I think that was the only... There was some other thing that I updated, but you have it electronically if yeah. you want to look at it. Um, it's still, I think, 3.34% uh, percent rise from last year, the operating budget. Um, again, I did include the uh, frontier capital spending in the articles. Uh, more to the point, I think, are the revisions in the in the warrant, which I, I can go over. Um, right now, I I did split the highway facility item into two different articles because one of the ways. So what to, article number? Are you uh, four and five. Okay. Um, one of the ways we're hoping to save money is by splitting the two into two right. different projects, and the yeah. town will do a lot of work in the um, in the site preparation, probably for both of them. Uh, so what I don't know is, uh, so Article Four is for thirty thousand dollars for the design plus construction costs. So um, the thirty thousand is going to go up. Um, based on how much overtime and Ron thinks it's going to take to do the site prep for the cold storage uh, facility. So we'll, he'll have that estimate by town meeting? Oh yeah, he should have it in, uh, in a, a week or two. Yeah. Um, he has to have it by the time he signed the warrant, I'll put it that way, which is April 8th. So, um, so, you should, uh, so it now reads to design a highway cold storage building facility and begin construction. So that's his, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. money to be spent out of this article for the overtime that his um, his crew uh, makes for article. Not overtime, just extra hours. No, it'll be it'll be overtime. It'll definitely be overtime. Yeah, and that that'll still be half what prevailing wage would be. So. Um, Article so the, 5 is the same kind of thing. That's to design a highway maintenance facility and begin construction. The reason that's so much more plus construction costs is that's the one that involves the owner's project manager. Uh, they're still talking about this. They'll still talk about it tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, I still believe the best way to go forward is to have it be one project because you get the economies of only one mobilization for the construction company. We may end up with one or two different construction companies working on the site at the same time. There are, uh, the, log the logistical problems are, you know, sort of possibilities, but um, if it were all under one roof, uh, we know that it would all be coordinated. And but they believe two articles. But, but I'm not the one spending the money, so. <laughs> and two articles would be more likely to pass. Um, well, this uh, is this is this was sort of the current thinking as of last week. So this week they're going to go over it and and see you know kind of flesh that out with the designer with the people who um, believe that they can design and bid each uh, facility for under thirty thousand dollars, which means we don't have to bid for the designer. Um, We're not sure how that fits into the owner's project manager program because um, to do that properly, the owner's project manager is involved in the selection of the designer. But we could, if both of these articles pass, hire the owner's project manager, have him be involved in the designer's work, and and they they uh, as the town representative, they check on the cost estimates and things like that. Uh, so right now, that's here under two articles, and there's two different figures because of the the second project is just big enough so that we'll need an owner's project manager. Yeah. Uh, there, uh, good, 
Yes, and I have included Article 10 now, which is for payment of the town share of capital borrowing for the Frontier Regional School District. That's in here. So um, I'm going to just ask that you keep all the education stuff lumped together. What other article is that? Article 2. I mean, you want this one to be Article 3? Yeah. Because we got to keep all those people paying around that we're paying <clears throat> serious dollars per hour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Same thing with 11. Just do with the school stuff first. Or else, you know, or else tell them to come later on. But either one. <clears throat> If you're going to put all the numbers in Article 2, then... And 12? 11, 12. It's always the first motion made on the town floor anyway, on, on the town meeting floor anyway. So let's just skip the need for that. <laughs> so, Tom, is there a reason not to do that? Um, the sort of practical reason, I, I do have it by descending... Um, amount of money to be spent so we we cover the most expensive right. things first but uh, the other thing is um, but you, uh, it's a shame to have people who would leave after that after <laughs> the school votes not vote on the things that are most important for the town but you're but talking yeah, about contractors you're talking about consultants that come in no, I'm just talking I, I, about I'm, the, I'm talking about the citizens. Right, but you I yeah. you're talking about the super Yeah, we're we're paying we're paying a uh, we have a instead of a business manager, we have a consulting firm that charges by the hour. Right. And right. I just want to get them out of there. Um and if you remember your town meeting history, every single town meeting ever always starts with the first motion, somebody standing up and saying, I move that article blah 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 all be moved together so that they can leave. And that that just is well, nothing's set in stone now, and uh, I can. Uh, in fact, I know that's that's what that's the motion that Cindy can traditionally makes every single year. Am I right? Yeah. So they'll become Article Three, Four, and Five. Um, I don't think anything else has changed up to. Uh, we still don't have figures for the Community Preservation Fund. Um, How about Article 20? Is that important too, Phil? It's a school pay. Auditing the school? No, no that, that's, 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 that's a, separate, a, that's yeah. a general okay. audit yeah. um, article. The school thing we're doing this year, and it won't come, uh, come up again for another three years. Yeah. And by then we'll have enough money in this... Um, article to take care of that easily. There's also a possibility that the that um, what's the the bond issue that uh, the school bond. Um, so article so article ten so. 10, 11, 12. So, and so if Article 10, if the equivalent in the other three towns does not pass, then it would most likely be withdrawn in our town, just because it has to pass all four towns. But we would do that on town meeting floor. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose so. But that's definitely a possibility. And um, Sunderland needs a prop two and a half override just to pass their regular grammar school budget. So. Well, we won't know that. Yeah, till later. Yeah, I don't know if that's been announced that yet, so maybe that. Um. <laughs> so, uh, uh, <laughs> the the next uh, biggie is Article Twenty Eight, uh, which is the short term rentals tax. Um, and I uh, I forgot to underline the word of after where not exceeding is stricken. Is struck. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Um, of, so, yeah, so I'll, I'll just add the uh, that. So it's a, it, it started saying not exceeding six percent, but now it's going to say of six percent. Um, and then we notify the state, and they notify Airbnb, and we get paid. Uh, the next change 
Um, I had mentioned in Article 30 last time, I think I just wanted to stress it, that um, the town's OPEB trust fund, other post-employment benefits trust fund, has had just the treasurer as its trustee. And uh, she feels uh, strongly that there ought to be uh, a team of people involved. So I suggested the town administrator and a representative of the Board of Selectmen all as um, it should say as uh, custodians. So I'll say as custodians of the fund. Oh, custodians of the fund as its trustees. So that's good. I'll just uh, make custodians. Custodians plural. of the fund? As yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm saying okay, I'll make custodian plural there. And so, so we'll have to vote on who that is after the. Yeah, it's meeting. one of the organizational things you do in the beginning of the so now, year. Uh, and I'm on, I'm on the committee for the Frontier Regional that, the budget committee that does this, that picks the benefits, uh, uh, the, uh, administrator or not the administrator, it picks the investment vehicles for the, the money, um, and the way that it's done there is we make an initial. Uh, we narrow it down to two choices, and they come before the school committee and make a pitch, and we make a recommend, and we all make a recommendation and a vote that night. Then, so I don't know whether there's a process set up besides just having three people on it, whatever. But like I like that process; it gives you sort of chance to reflect on it. And well, we can. This is all new for us. We don't know what Jan did. I mean, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, uh, people do care about this, about investing local versus yes, with yeah. you know transnational corporations, all that stuff. So there's there's actual <coughs> stuff. Uh, so Article Thirty Two is the first of three resolutions. Now that's the uh, special commission to the seal and motto of the Commonwealth. Apparently, now you have HD numbers down here for these bills. I House and Senate. Yeah, well, that means House docket and Senate docket. Those are not actual bill numbers. I suspect by well, the time we have... This is the resolution that was submitted. Oh, okay. So we do that. Okay. It's we not up to that. us okay. Okay. to change it. The, the, you the know, docket numbers get point. converted to actual um, bill numbers at people, some point. You know? So, yeah. Um, the second is the resolu is a resolution calling for the U.S. to join the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, rather long, with a bunch of whereases and resolutions. Oh my goodness. Uh, and the third one uh, just came in, a resolution to um, start a Friends of Conway Trust. Uh, whose mission will be to seek funds and other resources to allow the town and its residents to prepare for foreseeable emergencies in a timely and pragmatic way outside of the town uh, budget. It'll be kind of a supplementary volunteer fund. Great. And it's just a resolution, you know, to um, uh, encourage the establishment to see whether or not it uh, it gains any traction. And uh, the petitioner has been working on it for a couple of years and has gained support across various sectors of Conway residents. And so these all came in with signatures and uh, Yeah, actually that part of it um, doesn't concern us as much uh, um, as it might in the timing of those. Uh, when they come in, we we would either have to hold a special town meeting, or we can put it on the on the warrant. So ten signatures, yeah, yeah. Um, and right now everything's kind of a placeholder. Um, we can now close the warrant as it is. You can always open it up again if you have to. Uh, but this is sort of the formal. Okay, now we know what everybody's asking for money for. We know what is involved. Let's close the warrant and be able to deal with what's in front of us on the table. So that's the purpose. So, so we're that going is, to close the warrant tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I should have had it on the. It was scheduled for last week, but I yeah somehow didn't get it on the agenda. So I put it on this week's agenda. Good. 
So any questions, Phil? Um, no. So I'll make a motion that we close the warrant tonight. Okay, I'll second. Aye. Yes. Thank you. Great. And let's hope we don't reopen it, but I'm glad that we can. Sure, sure. Yes. So we have one more agenda, a couple more agenda items. One has to do with the Capital Improvement Planning Committee charge document. Uh, so often the select board charges a committee with doing some particular kind of work. And uh, one of the most important functions of the Capital Improvements Planning Committee is to do capital improvements planning. And uh, a document that came out of the committee didn't uh, really emphasize that. Um, and I had suggested uh, several years ago when this committee was reformed that the select board charge the committee with doing certain work. <coughs> so I revised that and uh, looked at what other towns, uh, missions, purposes, charges, uh, sometimes it's in a bylaw. I'm not suggesting we go that far, but something just to um, let them know that uh, some capital improvements planning is uh, uh, would be delightful. So I'm I'm proposing uh, these three basic uh, subjects for the committee to um, make sure they take care of to perform the way we need in order to manage our capital stabilization fund properly and, and know where we are and contribute it to the long-term financial plan, which is a part of it that I actually didn't include in this, but we do now have one, but it's been languishing for a couple of years because of a couple of things, and this is one of them. The other is the accounting trouble that we had, but uh, this is a, an important part of our long-term financial plan as well. So I imagine that the Capital Improvements Committee will then look for budgetary help or... What do you mean? Um, They, they, they will be resistant to doing this work without assistance. Financial well, assistance. We may be like able yeah. to find people who who can like pay them. You know. Okay. Work That'd on be, doing the work. That 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 would be very that, that would be very unusual. Issue. This right. is this is normal work. This is what the the committee usually does. And if there are people who don't feel they can do that, maybe we can find people who who okay. can as well. Um, Anyway, I don't. So, uh, I don't I'm not necessarily asking for a vote now, but I but wanted so to introduce the topic. You wouldn't have to include this in this proposal. So yeah. I, I just want to talk because you have a. I, I take it you have sort of a greater inkling into the feelings of the members, the current <laughs> constituted uh, yeah. members, and, and I and I, I have like no, not whatever. So, so the, as currently constituted. Which, which is this original oh, Article right. 19. That's right. They're okay with everybody, nobody's feelings are hurt or feeling put upon like well, with, with the current charter or the, change. Like, the, this charter. is added, adding greater detail to what was here. But when, I, I understand when that. this says develop a multi-year plan for capital improvements, that which, this is fleshing that out a little bit, but right. it's not really adding a new task. No, no, it's a, it's a description, an explanation of, right. of what the town actually needs. So you're asking, well, is it, are they okay with this? And they are, because they're serving currently, and they're, that, that's what it is. So they have no, to be. But, but, but if they were actually doing this, then I believe Tom would not be proposing this. Ah, I gotcha. So what's the solution, or what's, so, what's... Well, this is a message from this, it would be tonight or some future meeting, not too long from now, a message from the select board that this is, in fact, um, uh, what the work of the committee... I, I, uh, I get that, and I'm is. okay with messages, but I don't yeah. want a return message of like all five people standing up and saying we quit. And so, uh, no, they would, like, I believe the committee will come back and say we need help doing this. Um, okay. Uh, so, are we? Are they going to be getting help? 
I well, I don't know. That, is, is there is there now a person that will take their? Do we? Is there? A, well, we do have a uh, special a, um, assistant, to an the assistant. administrative assistant for the board. She usually does things like postings and minutes, but can also work at a higher level. The conservation commission has, you know, a, a wonderful lady who comes in and takes notes and ta you know takes our minutes and posts them. I will say it would be unusual for a town committee not to not to take on this work. So this is the conversation that yeah. we're going to have in the future by yeah. pressing this issue. I just that's that's my point. What's your opinion on the matter? I usually don't vote the same way as the rest of the committee. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, so okay. so let's, so let's let's just take this as Which presented. We'll see in the minutes. Uh, I'll take this okay. as, as presented. We can go over so, it uh, again next. So week. I, I have no problem with this. You know, I, I'm I'm happy for the additional detail, fleshing out the duties of the committee. Well, if you're ready to, so accept it. That's fine. I, I'm ready to accept it. Yeah. Okay. So. I, I have a hard time seeing anything in here that could meet with any, I, I don't see it's, instead of a, instead of a goal or tasks of one large run-on sentence, it's broken into five smaller run-on well, sentences. Exactly. So, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm okay with it. So I'm going to make yeah. a motion that we accept this, this new version of the charge for the Capital Improvement well, it, Committee. It's, it's, the, it's, a, it's an original charge. There is no charge right now. So. Oh, this wasn't a charge? Well, it was the article that created it. Right, right. I think it's the charge. Maybe, maybe of all the things in there, the word charge is maybe the only thing that's... I don't like anybody. I don't, I don't, I don't like to be charged with anything. Char you charge criminal defendants yeah, in court. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a different sense. I know, you're, you're, but I'm just like... <laughs> is, is there you're, a better you're, word? You're charging you the committee with these tasks. Goals? Tasks? Task or goal sounds better than charge. Well, but, uh, we, charge we, we, is, is is a forceful it, word. It is. It is. Chosen with care, I see. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we, there's a motion and a second. I think we're, we voted. So to, we'll to, vote? Yeah, I'll we, say aye. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. And now Bob has something, if I'm not mistaken. So now I have one, which is you'll see a couple documents. There is one simple one called... In, a better building code. Yeah, I saw and, that. And basically, there is an international body that gets together every three years yeah. and votes on an international standard for building codes. And the US and the state of Massachusetts generally adopt that building code as their base building code. And every three years, this building code has gotten progressively a little bit more pushing towards more efficiency. And, um, and every year that this has occurred, there's been a mounting resistance, especially among some builders, to push back on making it more efficient. And uh, these are the people, this is why we can't like, rehab our old buildings anymore unless we put up the super fun uh, lead paint catchment systems and. And, uh, I don't know the details like that, but it could be. Um, it, it, they largely have to do with, you know, how efficient the the, the walls should be, you know, and and uh, they're not the stretch code which we've adopted here in Massachusetts as a green community. That that's that, within the the code. It's an additional code. So that, so this will be changing changing the building code to probably be more like the stretch code. Um, which has happened in the past as well. The, the code has been rising and the stretch code has been rising in front of it. And so, and so there's a, this large body, the, the international body that votes on the, on the codes, um, votes every year on the new code. And, uh, and towns can be members. And, and towns can be members and, and a town the size of Conway can have four members to also vote on those codes. Actually, if there's three selectmen, you could have 12 members if all three selectmen join. I read the, I read the fine no, print. No, we're allowed four voters. No, no, no. Look. I, I, sh I, I, read, I looked. I got on there. I looked at it. It says you can, if there's we more. have up to less than 50,000 population, we get four votes. 
A jurisdiction can have multiple governmental members, each of which is eligible to register a full roster of voting representatives. I don't believe that's the case, <laughs> but I, 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 you're, you're exactly right. Yeah, yeah. I believe our full roster is four. Now, it's possible that if we were the town of Cambridge, Cambridge has like 30 or 40 voters, and so they are voting in multiple bodies within the town, the city council and the energy committee and different committees, and each of those committees can have their own voters. But I would like to be the person in charge of uh, trying to get them all to vote the same way. Uh, so, so if, I, uh, if if you also get to be the charge, the one that counts all the money from every town in the Western Hemisphere, it, uh, our responsibility is not. I mean, everybody does not have to vote the same way. We will hopefully find people. In, in my hope is we will find people who will vote to support more efficiency. But. Um, now, our four voters could be Tom and the three selectmen. Our four voters could be, you know, me and Joe Strugowski or, you know, people that are, people that are involved with, that are officially on boards within the town. Um, I don't think we'll have a hard time finding four voters. And uh, for $175, the select board does have that money Currently, 135. 135. You do have that money currently in your budget. So, so my goal is that Conway tonight we will vote that Conway will will become a member, and we do need to choose who our uh, there's a word for it, our primary representative is, and so and I'm happy to do it, and so Conway and I will sign up and I will register Conway as a, as a member of the body. And we have to do this by the end of the month, the end of March. So it's, we're coming, it's unfortunate, but we're coming right down to the, uh, so to the do it. last days. It's important to you do so it. So I will, I will make a motion that we will, that Conway will join the IECC. I will be the primary representative. And we will then have until the fall to find the four, the other three people who we will. I'm we sure will our enlist. current chair would be thrilled to join an international organization. Uh, uh, Good. I, yeah, you know, it's okay. I, I expected that he would be here and that he might yeah. really be the primary member, and that would have been fine too. Um, so, okay. Okay, I'll second. So I'll second your motion, and I'll say aye. Okay, aye. Thank you. There you go. So I, I, I provided a note from the Sierra Club, and Tom provided a different note from an organization called the MA. MAPC? The Metropolitan yeah. Area Planning right. uh, and the, Council. They're the equivalent of FERCOG for most of eastern Massachusetts. Yeah. Around the Boston area. They're the, they presented at the training that I went to. Yep, yeah, they were excellent. They had a lawyer that was really good. <coughs> okay. So items not anticipated in 48 hours. We I don't have, have none. Any. And your update. For committee news, I have reminded the moderator that we need a new housing committee appointed as the previous one resigned en masse last I see, year. I see some French. One reason it is très important <laughs> is that the housing committee appoints a member to the community preservation committee, affordable housing being one main purpose of the Community Preservation Act. We have posted an invitation to the website, but I believe that personal contact is more likely to result in long-term committee retention. So if you know anyone who might be interested, please have them tell Nick, who is the appointing authority for the housing committee. Uh, and, and, and hopefully people watching this video tonight will yes. consider. Yeah. The Highway Facility Committee is exploring various options to try to reduce the soft costs of the project, as I mentioned earlier, including splitting the project in two to save the cost of going through the bidding process for design services. Their meeting tomorrow night will explore that possibility. I will be there. As their meetings, their last meeting did. Uh, in departmental news, we received notification that our fiscal year 2020 Chapter 90 aid is going to be 264761 down very slightly from last year's 
264932 I checked with the treasurer about the proposed schedule of payments for the Tornado Mountain Marijuana Facility, which now applies to uh, a Roaring Glen as well, and she was fine with what was proposed, that is, within 90 days of the end of the calendar year. Also regarding Tornado Mountain, uh, oh, I forwarded an email that no longer matters. Uh, that, uh, that one was left over from last week, by the way. Uh, we have received our fiscal year 2018 audit and management letter, which indicate no material weakness. Good. We need to re-engage. If anybody wants to look at the audit, just let me know or let Jan know, and we'll forward you what we have. Um, we need to re-engage with the 32B sections 21 through 23 health insurance process again, forming an insurance advisory committee, etc. Um, John, who is not here, and Bob may recall that we engaged outside Labor Council last year, who helped a great deal in keeping us on track. Um, uh, I, we were going to run into trouble otherwise. Uh, uh, though last year's process was ultimately suspended, I would like the Select Board's agreement to engage outside Council once more. Uh, there was a fellow who specializes um, in uh, this, he's uh, he's labor council, but one of the things he so we'll talk about that next he, week. He does is that we, uh, we could. I would like to get this process moving though because we're already late. I got a lot of just, questions about something like that. I just I don't, can I don't we know. do that tonight? I don't, I don't know think. anything about it. So, what's the process? What's that's exactly why we need to engage specialized counsel on this. It's a it's a complex process with multiple deadlines and lots of formalities. And we didn't do it right, or somebody didn't do uh, it right. A lot of right. towns did not do it right. We yeah. were saved, we, we did something on the last day that it was possible to do it. And I believe that our unions um, acted with great good faith in allowing us some slack in some of the cases because um, we didn't start early enough. So anyway, we can put it off, um, why outside counsel? Why can't our guy do it? Why can't? Because he was not of sufficient assistance last time. Well, then let's cut his fees and pay some of the what we cut to the other guy. Just well, we just won't have him work on it. We'd be spending money anyway. Let's have it go to somebody who's much closer to having it be his specialty, is my argument. <laughs> what, is it, what does it cost? What, how much is that issue? How, like, what's the benefit? It, it, it'll be the same. The benefit will be we'll have somebody who actually has done this process multiple times yeah. and is aware of all of the laws. Uh, last time, uh, some time was spent in research that I don't think was necessarily well spent. We were li we were about to be late on things if I hadn't um, suspended other work and dived much more deeply into this. So. I would like the support of outside labor council on this. So, and and I can I can talk with you more later if you want to. So, but like just generally speaking, in terms of just ge not even specific to this, what's what you're talking about? Like, um, I'm I'm way more comfortable like voting a set amount or like a, 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 a voting like um, engaging a council or paying a council um, is like one thing, but. I would definitely be way more comfortable in any kind of I, situation. I can send you the bills from last year. So, but like a like parameter, like a, like an upper and lower, like an upper per, whatever. Just so like I, I, whenever we vote, I think that it should be. It, it's um, not going to be that much money. What it is is going to be a whole lot of very targeted expertise at specific times. So I'm hearing we should. So we we can do we, it next week. We we can go over the the cost, we can send you the bills, all that kind of thing. It was not a lot of money, but I was really happy to have somebody I could rely on. Because my work is such that at any one time, I may or may not be able to get something done, um, you know, in a process that has as many deadlines as this one does. It's, it's an incredibly cumbersome process. Well, not incredibly. It's a very credibly so, and this cumbersome is, th process. Is this the same process that, that um, any insured, so, so Frontier 
has to go through this process. Yeah. The neighboring towns have to go through this process. Yeah, everybody's got to go through it. So and we all have to convene our own committees and we all have to send out all our postcards and we all have to have the correct mailing list and we all have to do it all by certain dates. And so does it make sense to attempt to collaborate with council and get a one council for our five? Well, one of the council that I have in mind works with many other towns doing this and some of them are near here. It worked really well last time. And again, I can, you know, it was not that expensive. Um, yeah, what, so do you remember how much? I can, we can go over the bills. I, I don't remember offhand, but uh, I'll be happy to get you that. Yeah, I'm not. I like, I like being in front. I like looking at stuff. I like being informed. This, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm realizing. So do I. That's yeah, why I, I want I, I somebody get, who's get, an expert. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I, um, you know, I'm not like, um, I don't know. Yeah. So, um, uh, town meeting news to smooth the transition between the outgoing town clerk and the incoming town clerk. I recommend transferring. $4,100 from town clerk salaries and wages for this fiscal year to the town clerk operations uh, sub-account so that the outgoing town clerk can assist in the office after the May election through the end of the fiscal year. We've provided for assistance in FY20, but we have not provided for assistance, uh, the assistance between the election mm -hmm. and the end of this fiscal year, during which time the new town clerk is going to have to file the town meeting minutes with the attorney general and... Uh, do the whole appointment process of committees and things like that. So, so, yeah, so we had we had money for next year. We have so, money for next year. So how do year. we have money that we can transfer? Is that because we don't have somebody assisting the town clerk right now? But now that money is in salaries and wages, and once she leaves office, the current town clerk will no longer be receiving a salary right. or a wage. So we need to transfer that to professional and technical expenses for the new town clerk to hire. So we have the an extra 4100 in there that we can... So we have that money available. Great. So this will take a vote from both the Finance Committee and the Select Board uh, sometime in May or June. This is just a heads up. Yeah. Um, I've also amended the Town Clerk 161 budget to reflect that payments for consulting are in the operations part um, of the 161 account rather than uh, in the hourly pay. Uh, I had uh, just put it in the wrong place. So there's there's no change to the bottom line. I just switched between 161 salary and wages and 161 operations. Um, so that's Great. all I have. Thank you. Now. Any comments? I was giving them to him as, as he was, we went. As he was going along, which he doesn't really like that. Much. Well, you know, I can't so, help myself. So we do have a little bit of mail. One item. So this is from the Franklin County Land Trust. They're going to sponsor a self-guided recreational bike ride. Saturday, August 17th. They're getting out ahead of this. That's uh, the fundraiser of the Franklin County Land Trust, 501c3 organization, provides valuable ecotourism dollars for Franklin, Hampshire, Wyndham County. That has become a huge event. Yeah? Yeah, like the biggest event in the county, like mm. in terms of hotel rooms and generating people coming really? here. Really? Yeah, it's massive. It's on all the national, it's in the magazines and all this It's stuff. not a race. No, they get 1,500 riders. Yeah, at least. That's the one where there was the injury and the accident right on Main Street. No, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, the turn right here, 116, the turn about in front of my house and coming yeah. down the hill. Yeah. There was one rider that was going fast and by, by himself, and they for some reason they stopped. Like right there, right, and, and then stood, but at the, there was a pack right behind her and didn't see, it's, it's downhill turn, and the pack didn't see the person that stopped. And they ran into her, the ambulance, it was broken limbs, it was... Oh no. I never saw a pack of bicycles run over another bicyclist and injure her severely. It was in our town. D2R2, bring it back. So the riders start in Deerfield, they ride at their own pace. 
They go through Ashfield, Charlotte, Manchesterville, Coleraine, Conway, Cummington, Deerfield, Greenfield, Holly, Leiden, Goshen, yeah. Heath, Plainfield, Leiden, Rose, Shelburne, and Waitley. Yeah. In alphabetical order. And up in Vermont. A whole lot of counties yeah. out there too. There's a Towns. lot of them that, that patron they patronize the inn, they patronize the, the Helens, Bakers, they great. So that's the only mail. Um, announcements? No? Nope. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, six o'clock mm. is uh, the Conway Grammar School budget uh, hearing where yeah, the budget will be voted on. Hasn't been voted on yet. But it's the same it's true. It's the same that we're if it yeah. But, but and if it changes you'll let me know. Yeah, no, it was that's like as good a budget's ever gonna get. I mean, <laughs> two point yeah. what is it? Two point yeah. two point nothing? So our next meeting, next week, 25th, over at the town hall, uh, right. joint meeting with the finance committee. And, uh, and that's for making, uh, going through recommendations on the warrant articles and uh, Article 2 and all that sort of stuff. So, the, yeah. you know, we don't usually get it all done in one meeting, but if we, you know, the more progress we can make, the better. Yeah, so, um, so, so could you schedule the, that executive session thing for next week? Sure. And with that, I move we adjourn. Second. Aye. Yay. Ugh.